well, Sid. I remember what you told me. But if no one is listening to what you have to say, you may as well not say it. But I will say this, old friend. Hugo Cooker is gone. His shadow looms over us no longer. It's a pity the Phoenix can't be in two places at once. If it had been with us, maybe he could have done something for the lost. Not even the Phoenix can bring people back from the dead. Life has a beginning and an end. So we must live while we have the chance. As slaves to the crystals, but as free men. May we join you? Lady Karen, what a pleasant surprise. I thought I'd drop by and see how you were all doing before heading off to restock my supplies. It wasn't the most scenic view back then, but it were never as bad as this. I know. The blight marches on. And soon, there will be no escaping sights like these. We cannot stop until every Mother Crystal is gone, and their thirst for ether with them. The only one that remains in Storm is Drake's tail in the Crystalline Dominion. Our next target. We're going to Twinside. It's the capital of the Empire these days. I wouldn't like to think how tightly guarded they've got the place. Not that that'll stop you, but we do well to scout it out before you go charging in. We would indeed. If you're off to the Dominion, you can take this great lump with you. Goods. Oh, I am sorry. Have you forgotten you're the most wanted man in the Twins? I thought you might like to disguise yourselves as the attendants of a travelling trader. Assuming you've no better ideas. You wanted to buy yourself some tools, didn't you? Well, now's your chance. <laughs> You letting me go with them? Oh, thanks, <laughs> Nan. Stop that! You break me bones, you great galoot. <laughs> <laughs> There's a caravan that runs back and forth between the Dominion and the Bocklad Markets. It's managed by the Merchants Guild. Just show them Goots's traders pass, and you'll be on your way. It'll be a damn sight less risky than footing it the length of the Crystal Road. That's for sure. Thank you, Karen. And glad to have you with us, Goots. Oh, oh, okay then. I'll get me things and I'll meet yous there. See yous down in Bucklad. Get off! Me poor fingers! <laughs> Jill, you're with me. Understood. And Gav? Already on my way, Captain. Be careful. Aren't I always? Do you see that, Sid? Your protégé's making a proper little outlaw of himself. <laughs>
Well, don't just stand there gawping. It'd better all be here. You're rubbing me blind, you know. It'd better all be here. Come again. Oh, don't. I'm not much bothered either way. What do you need? What do you want? Bring me the materials, and I'll think about it. About it. The crystal too. You're joking. <laughs> I 
Hopefully it's nothing. But I should speak to Blackthorn just in case. He seen well enough when I last saw him. <laughs> Trouble with the ledgers. Shouldn't he be asking Otto for help? Something's wrong with Torgal. So you can read. Congratulations. But I didn't say I were wrong with him. I said some weren't right. He's not been eating me treats. He used to love cracking the bones from Molly's boiled brown, but now he won't so much as look at him. I didn't like him. Which is why I'm of a mind that his mind's on somewhere else. You've not been working him too hard, have you? No harder than usual. Is that it, boy? Do you need a rest? <laughs> what was it you said he was? A frost wolf? That's what the lawsman seems to think. Then maybe this all has something to do with whatever it is that's woken inside him. I suppose things happen different since Rosaleth. Perhaps Hippocrates knows something. Instead of everything, you mean? Perhaps. Thorn. Do you have a moment? Not really, no. This won't take long. I just wanted to ask how you're getting on. August was worried about you, and you might still be doubting your craft. If is there something else weighing on your mind? Perhaps sharing your thoughts might help. That bastard's like a dog with a bone. Still, you've got a keen eye, I'll give him that. He's just, well, Karen showed me something. Something I've never seen before. And that was? A sword. An odd-looking thing with a single edge blade. The metal itself wasn't anything to write home about, but fuck me. The edge on it. You could slice a man clean in two with a weapon like that, and he'd be halfway home before he even realized he'd been cut. So that's what's troubling you. Nah, no, no, no. Not troubling me exactly. More distracting. Can't stop thinking. How do you get an edge of that sharp? It's driving me mad. And if you knew how to do it, we could arm the curse breakers with even better blades. That's about the size of it, yeah. I'll see what I can find out. Sharper swords are always welcome. And we can't have our master blacksmith being distracted. You're a soft touch, you know that. But I can't say I'm not grateful for it. Good luck, eh? Thank you. Let's see what Karen knows about this sword. You're looking well, Karen. What do you want? Out with it. I want to know about the sword you showed Blackthorn. Single-edged and extremely sharp. Running around after him again, are you? I suppose I am, yes. But I need to help him find out how to work an edge like that. It's driving him to distraction. Little wonder, I suppose. 
There's not many like that make it as far as the twins, and those that do go straight into private collections. Which made it nice and easy finding a buyer. Can you tell me who bought it? Where is it now? You think I tell people who my clients are? Suppose you're not likely to go nicking him off me, are you now? Fine. If you stop mooning at me like that. Lord Ignax, the man you want. Delmechian bloke. Collects weapons and the like. And he's got more money than sense, which is why he's one of my favourite clients. Reckon he'll still be at the inn in Dallamil, where I left him. Thank you, Karen. Oh. And he's... a touch eccentric. If you take my main in. I appreciate the warning. Lawsman. He isn't it? I don't think so. But according to Lady Karen, he seems to have lost his appetite. Which is certainly a new development. She says he's hardly been touching. Hmm. I rather th all canids, and I see no if we assume. It may well frost nest at them. You good. We need to find a way into Drake's tail. And we will. Together, this time. Is that the thing Tomes helped to do? Ned told me she was building a ship. Clive! Did you get my letter? That's why I'm here. Hideaway may be slightly behind in its payment to certain lenders, and it's maybe my fault. But I swear to the goddess, I thought I had the numbers square. Sadly, that square turned out to be more of a circle. Zero, you might say. I can straighten it out, I swear, but it's going to take some time, and... I'm going to need help keeping it from Otto. Be late for that, I would say. There you are! What a surprise! So let me get this straight. You forget to pay our lenders what they're due, and instead of coming straight to me, you get Clive to come to you. And I hope he'll dig you out of the hole you've dug for yourself. Clive, the man in charge of the place you've been cheerfully trying to bankrupt. And you thought this was a cunning plan. Why? Well, who needs paying? Oh, just Martha. And the dame. And, well, Lady Karen. <laughs> but only 500 talents. We owe three of our most trusted friends five million gil. Each. Five million. Each. They lent us the bulk of the money we used to rebuild the hideaway, you see, and, well, I, I must have made some sort of... oversight. <sighs> Those ledgers were my responsibility, and it was my decision to entrust them to you. This is my fault. Do we have that much to hand? I can always ask my uncle. No, we don't. And no, you won't. We've lightened Lord Rossfield's purse enough. After the King's ransom we had off him, he deserves better than to see our begging bowl. 
Besides, we'll need to learn to stand on our own if we're going to make this work. All right. But that doesn't mean you have to shoulder the burden yourself. Is there anything I can do to help? There might be. How'd you fancy taking these to Martha and the Dame? Rocks. Rocks, he says. Worth a thousand talents apiece, these are. A little something Sid and I set aside for when times got lean. And I reckon 15 million in overdue debt was told by our associates' eyes are a bit more discerning than yours. I'm sure they will be. Hmm. Should be me making the rounds, really. But you know how it is with this place. Orders to bark, asses to wipe and all that. I know. Which is why I don't mind going in your place. Go. Do you know why I only gave Master Clive here two star rubies? Because you'd rather Lady Karen killed me. Because I'd rather Lady Karen killed you, yes. Well, I suppose this is goodbye then. Don't worry. I'm sure Karen will understand. Really? Do you think so? No, I don't. Sid, reckon you might be... Let's hear it. Well, it's about this Alembic. The chief's got me, mate. Lovely bit of care. Problem it, which is... I imagined. Proper. So what exactly? Nothing. Gave me a sample. You pour them. So, and do you know what... I take it. <laughs> I would have gone me... All right. Frank. Mid might need some help.
told me she was building a sh How are you feeling? Better. Thanks to Taya. I'm glad to hear it. And Toggle helped too. Didn't you, boy? This used to be a trade road for merchants crossing the scars. Till the Republic laid a new road wide enough to let wagons pass, and all official traffic moved there. Leaving this one for those living outside the law. Indeed. I doubt we'll be the only outlaws on the trail today. Think. Uh, that we'd be lucky to make... Really? 
It's as bad as that. Oh, why? There's trouble up ahead. And too much of it for us to handle. I take it there's danger on the road. Oh, what about this fearsome looking fellow? You think he'd be equal to the task? Oh, no doubt. Assuming he's willing to hear us out. Well met, friend. How does a merchant misplace his card? Oh, them. He sent the two of us to fetch it, but it's gone. My brother's right on all accounts. We may have seen our share of action, true. You, however, have the look of a man. Chances are they'll come for you either way. But if. Well, if I'm going to. You've clearly got. A... We're lucky now. Reckon he won't. All right. No, no. You just put an end. Let's go. Run like the wind. I'm not sure I trust those two. But if there are bandits lying in wait, I should probably take care of them. <laughs> Look lively, you lot. No. We've got guests. These must be our bandits. them dealt with. Now, where's that cart? Getting all of this out of here will be a nightmare. Seems we found ourselves the right man for the job, wouldn't you say? Found the cart and didn't leave a single bastard breathing. Our merchant friend will be delighted. And how exactly will he be getting his goods out of here? You leave that to us. After all, it'd be wrong to make such a fine warrior haul cabbages to market. You've done your part, and that's all you need to worry about. Here. It's been a pleasure. Now piss off. There's no need to be so rude, brother. What if we want his help again next time? The 
bastards would have eaten the lot by now. We won't be going hungry, that's for sure. Come on. People take notice of wealthy men. Shouldn't be too hard to track down Karen's collector. The same drapes fang is gone. The whole mother crystal gone. What are we gonna do? Calm yourself. We don't know for sure. It could have just been a tremor. reputation will be ruined! Ruined! Calm yourself, Lord Ignac, I beg of you, before you do yourself a mischief. Pardon the intrusion, but... Out! Get out! I paid for these rooms so I wouldn't be disturbed. Leave me be! Please, allow me to apologize. His lordship is going through a difficult time. And he's never been fond of guests arriving unannounced. Radim! Get rid of the filthy oath this instant! Very good, Lord Ignac. Would you mind stepping outside for a moment? I'm sorry if I've caused you any trouble. That? No, oh, no, no. That's just how his lordship is. Though the morning's events have left him somewhat fractious. He has been dispossessed of his luggage, you see. The thieves also made away with a considerable amount of coin. Coin the innkeeper will soon be keen to get. I don't suppose a certain blade was among the stolen items. A single-edged sword. It was purchased from a merchant friend of mine. Ah. You know Lady Karen? Yes, I'm afraid it was. Then I'll retrieve Lord Ignac's luggage. But I have one condition. You are but to state it. You are welcome to anything that is within my power to grant. I want an audience with Lord Ignac. A few minutes should be enough. Then I'll be on my way. A condition I would be a fool to refuse. Of course, you shall have your audience. I don't suppose you saw where the thieves went. I did not, no. Inquiries made on his lordship's behalf mean that I know where you might find them. The bandit's bed. Every ill-gotten coin in Dalamal is said to pass through that disreputable corner of the Valcroy. And that's where well, I'm heading. Up, bro. I shall speak to Lord Ignac in your absence, and arrange for an audience upon your triumphant return. Hi. Be very kind of you. Farewell, and best of luck. How's the stream been, bro?
Goku just enjoying playing Final Fantasy 16. Delcast underscore gaming grape. Ready, go. to fight. Company. Come on, lads, let's tear the bastard's head off. This must be Ignac's luggage. Nothing seems to be damaged. All right. Let's get it back to Dalamel. BTW bro, would you be interested in custom branding slash graphics? Like logos and stuff? I hear I have you to thank for the return of my effects. What shall I call you, my good man? Wyvern. Glad to make your acquaintance. A formidable name indeed. Well, Wyvern, I appear to be in your debt. Redeem here tells me you wished for an audience. Is that all? No thanks, but appreciate the offer. Yes. You're a peculiar fellow, Wyvern. All right, speak. A master well, good and Wyvern. thanks. If you could tell him about a certain single-edged sword you recently acquired. Oh, a true work of art, that one. 
Karen drove me hard on the price, but I would have sold her Radim here to get my hands on that sword. It was Thank made you. in the outer aisles, far beyond the twins, and is used exclusively yes. by the practitioners of a unique school of swordsmanship. They believe no combat should ever exceed a single strike and hone their blades to such perfection that none ever does. Each sword is made for that one. There's a brutal sort of beauty to it, really. But how do they hone such an... <laughs> Why, they use a whetstone, of course. Whetstones, rather. A whole array of them, ranging from the coarse to the fine. Ten thousand licks with the sharpening stone, then ten thousand more. But it is the final stone which lends the blade its legendary sharpness. A mineral quite foreign to this great realm of ours. And that is the key. The secret ingredient. Why, when it occurs to me that my little lecture is hardly equal to services rendered, take this, together with my regards. The very stone of which I spoke, far rarer among collectors than even the blade itself. And a far more fitting payment. Thank you. Pardon the intrusion, my lordship. However, it is long past time we prepared ourselves to depart. <gasps> so I am locked in bitter com- I am once. Are there are many other collect- Too many to count. But only one do I can- And is a perennial- <laughs> Farewell, Wyvern, may our paths cross- Radim! We mustn't- I think his lordship is coming, my lordship. I'll be right there. Trust Uncle Byron to find now. Let's see what Blackthorn makes of this whetstone, shall we? I wasn't expect, but it seems we still owe you, and now I do. A star, Ruby. It's worth at least twice what you owe me. More if you can find yourself the right buyer. Think of the difference as interest. Interest? If word got out I charged that much, no one would ever borrow from me again. Anyway, why are you the one here asking me about this? I'd have expected Otto. Bit much sending the Lord Marquis out to sell your debts, isn't it? The old goat working himself to death. Something like that. Same as always, eh? Back when the place was nothing, probably knew that with Sid may have been the face of the hideaway, but Otto's all. And when Sid passed away, we were all worried that would be the end of it. His death was hard on everyone. But I must have hit. But he didn't give up, did he? Quite the opposite, in fact. If I recall, he was the one who nominated. I reckon what he saw in... And don't we all? Doesn't hurt that you're half as stubborn and twice as hand... That, and you...
giant antelope. It would seem like just the place. I doubt we'll find one bigger than that. You hungry, Toggle? Will it be enough, I wonder? I say that answers my question. Which means we owe the lawsmen our thanks. You're just a big puppy, aren't you? A very big puppy. <laughs> You know you can take that with you, Toggle. Lady Karen will be relieved to hear you've got your appetite back. Come on, boy.
did you hear? The gates to heaven. I want to see you again tonight. What am I going to do without sweet water and oil of talc? Still no caravan from the Dominion's party? Milady, I come bearing gifts. Gifts? Whatever is the occasion. Oh, my. Clive, you really have outdone yourself. Otto asked me to give it to you. To settle the hideaway's debt with the veil. And to compensate you for the time it took us to do so. Oh, you disappoint me, Clive. I thought you might finally be warming to me. Tell Otto he can keep his baubles. I tried to tell him as much the first time around. The man owes me nothing, nor does the hideaway. My contribution to the restoration effort was made freely and willingly. It was the least I could do. You once told me Sid did you a kindness. I'd like to do the same. Please, accept it. For my sake. And for Otto's. For all of us. For all you've done. <sighs> It is rather fetching, isn't it? Very well. <laughs> Otto is lucky to have you, Clive. I doubt anything could ever replace his son. But you and the others at the hideaway are the closest thing he has to family. Otto had a son. Long ago. Yes. Sid told me Otto lost him when he was just a boy, and blamed himself for not being able to stop it. I don't know how it happened, whether there was anything he could have done, but it was clear that it weighed heavily on him. I didn't know. How could you have? I doubt anyone did. Besides Sid, I've never met a man more keen to bear his sorrows in stoic silence. An ill habit, given that both have always been surrounded by friends desperate to help them. <laughs> I'm beginning to see that. Go will want to know the stones were delivered, if he's still with us. Ambrosia.
journey to ride from here. Your Majesty.
Your reign is over. Now to collect the ash. Let's see if there's any more. Sorry for the wait, but hopefully you'll agree it was worth it. You learned something about it. I did better. Hey, a whetstone? Yes. But not one you'll find anywhere in Valestia. so bad if all you ever fought were duels. <laughs> good luck on the battlefield. Your second opponent would be your last, no matter how good you were. Even so, is there some way it could be used to give the Curse Breakers an edge? I think so, yeah. With this whetstone and the right kind of steel, I could probably even make a twin of the plate that rattled me. But there'd be no replacing this little rock once I worn it down to a sliver. I reckon we get a dozen swords from it, if that. Swords that the curse breakers wouldn't know how to wield, probably, and that would see him through a single fire piece. Nah, no point trying to copy that thing. Be about as much use as a wax anvil. But finishing our blades with a whetstone this fine? Now that's something to consider. And what's finer than fallen masonry, eh? Or more hard wearing for that matter? Just imagine it good Valisthean steel with an edge as sharp as any found in the Outer Isles. I won't make a copy now. I'll make something much better. I'm sure the Curse Breakers will be delighted. Just... don't push yourself too hard. <laughs> don't you worry about me, Sunshine. I'll be working day and night since I was half your age, and I'll still be here when you're long gone. Hey. Thanks, Clive. I mean it. I owe you one, August too. It's good to know someone's looking out for me. You'll be happy to hear you said that. And I'll see that my debt to you's paid. First new blade I make's got your name on it. You come and find me when you've got the materials. All right. I will. Say so myself. you and Togo had gone off somewhere. Take him for a walk, did you? 
You could say that. So, Molly's leftovers weren't good enough, eh? That'll teach me for treating you like you're still a pup. <coughs> all right, all right, no need to shout. Now we know what you're after, I can see about getting some in. Speaking of which, I brought one for later. Can I leave it with you? You can, I. I'm nice like that. In return, you can thank Tomes for me. The bloody know-it-all. I was just on my way to see him. And what can I do for you? I don't know many fleshes who deal in cuz. If you're gonna buy some, be quick about it. It'd better all be here. You're rubbing me blind, you know. Finished, are you? Ah, Clive. Were you able to look? We were indeed. Look very good. Lady Karen. Ah. Do you recall about precisely the fen and wild that would use that to consider in short and that one can yes and if I'm Mid told me she was building a ship.
goes. So let. Oh, I'm on my limbic, and it works just like the chief said it would. <sighs> Very impressive. <laughs> no, no. Why do you let me take a look at that bag of yours? The one you keep. Your what? Well, we happen to have isolate. Thought we might use it to breathe new life into old boots and the like. Save the hideaway a few gil. But well, uh... that's the spirit. Leave it with... Well? What do you reckon? It certainly feels more of... Right? Thank you. No, for some... And I'm telling you, there's plenty... Lady Karen, go tell. But you prefer what tech? I may, but those. Were... Of course not. Surely you. Oh, fine. Where'd you even get this? A decent trader might nab a thousand. A canny one, meanwhile, might claim it were nicked from the belt of Sid the Outlaw himself and ask twice as. Might be I already have a buyer in mind. Might be you even know her. A fine continental maid whose beauty's only. You won't mind, would you? Not at all. Just be sure to tell her that it's always. I hear you ended up delivering all three stones. Thanks to this lump, I sometimes wonder what I pay you for. Speaking of which, I, uh... Oh! Right away! I've seen that before. You yeah, have, yeah. But it was the only goblet Sid ever used. I knew so little about it. Like most people. Martha and the Dame both seem to have fond memories of it. Huh. 
How long did you know Sid? Before he died. Back in the day, he bought passage to the set up drinking island, quit my pubs. The means. Help them and quit my pubs. Luckily, he was here. Was always too clever for his own good, was Sid. Saw the world for what it really was, while the rest of us were content to go along with the lie we were shown. And it can't have been easy, bearing that burden alone. But he didn't let it stop him. He never lost faith in what he believed was right. And that gave us faith in him. Faith he'd steer us true. So I swore on myself that I'd always be right behind him, ready to catch the stubborn sod if ever he should fall. But I couldn't even do that. Ignore me, just the ramblings of a tired old man. Leave that lot. I'll tidy it up in a bit. This. This is Sid's handwriting. Dear Otto, I may be drunk, but I wanted you to know this place would be fucked without you. I love you, you old grumpy old sod. This note. Hmm? What about it? Sid was right. Without you, we all be lost. You should have bloody well said so then. Told me she was building a ship. Is that the thing Tomes helped to build? Is it business or pleasure? It'd better all be here. You'll not find a better price than that. You're rubbing me blind, you know. Come again. Oh, don't. I'm not much bothered either way. He cracked the crystal too. Come on.
I see the Dalmex lag behind Rosaria when it comes to bridge building. The fallen ruin should hold at least. The path continues on the other side. So this is a Mechas. The land of the gods. It's even more impressive than I imagined. I remember being captivated by the story as a child. Long, long ago, man was overcome by avarice and challenged the gods in a bid to win their power. The final battle took place here, at these falls. Or so the legend goes. If anyone ever manages to plumb those depths, perhaps we'll learn if there's any truth to the tale. That the gods emerged victorious and punished man for his defiance by visiting upon him two curses. Dominance in Paris. To tell the truth, I always thought it strange that the Dominant and their icons were deemed a curse. Back home, the Dominant inherited the throne. They were admired and exalted, not spurned. Whenever I got to that part of the story, I always assumed there must be something I'd misunderstood. You had a lot of storybooks, didn't you? In your room, I mean. When we were young. The old legends were always my favorites. Epic battles between gods and men. Father encouraged me to read as much as I could. He thought it good for my education. You really were a boy like any other, weren't you? <laughs> Just look at this place. It's enough to make you believe the legends are true. I know. We're not far from Boklad. The road will be busier up ahead. And we'll have to keep our wits about us. <laughs> Something wrong? Nothing. It's nothing.
I see the reports are true, Father. Boklab markets are to the north. We just need to hug the coast. Fly, Ambrosia! Infiltrating the Dominion won't be easy with the Imperials on high alert. No. His Radiance has lost one capital already. We can be sure Sylvester will do everything in his power to hold on to Twin Sides. His troops are well trained and increasingly battle hardened. But it's not as if we can wait for the six to end. They've closed the road to Randala. If the siege breaks, they'll need more than this to stop the Imperial Legions marching on the capital. Oh, I'm done for. If you haven't got a pass, you're not getting through. Please! <sighs> I'm begging you! Further to box that way. More refugees. And they're all making for the crystalline dominion. Because they don't know how to live without the crystal's blessing. This is where we're supposed to meet Goots, isn't it? That's right. 
He said he'd wait for us here after replenishing his supplies. I dare say he'll have finished by now. 